Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, we are doing a mermaid DIY. Hey guys, what's up? If you're new, my name is Brittany. Like I said, today's video we are celebrating Mermaid again. If you don't know what Mermaid is, it is an awesome collaboration that was put together by Pauline over at Massive Mermaid. We've already done a pin tag last week. I will leave that video down in the description below. Today we are celebrating it by doing a DIY. Now I love crafting and I love ocean, so I felt a lot of pressure to come up with something really fun. But I also was making a challenge for myself. So if you don't know, I do a couple DIYs. Well, I do a lot of DIYs, but I've done a couple videos of showing some of my DIYs. So I will leave that playlist down in the description also if you want to check that out. So as you can imagine, I have loads of unfinished projects. I have tons of just stuff to make things with or that is left over some things I've already made or whatever so I kind of also this isn't part of like the video or the collab but I kind of wanted to make a challenge on myself to make something out of stuff that I already have at the house luckily I have quite a few materials that I was able to come up with something uh, but let me know in the comments below what you think about what I did I it, it yeah Anyways, <laughs> let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And without further ado, here's my mermaid DIY. All right, guys. So my craft today is going to be this coastal candle holder. It's kind of mermaidy, kind of. You're going to need a hot glue gun, a vase of some sort, some type of nautical rope, some twine. I got these really fun wooden ocean creatures, some sand. I had the shells, but I didn't end up using them and these little blue stones. So starting out, I'm just taking this rope. This is really good quality rope, especially for Dollar Tree, but they don't give you enough, which is the only bummer. So I would have liked the rope to go a little bit higher, but again, I worked with what I had. So I started by just gluing down. I started the opposite direction of like I'm right-handed and just, I decided to go left, like to start left if I'm, I'm not making sense, but don't do that. <laughs> it makes it hard. Anyways, this rope is really stretchy though. So that is the good thing about it. So when you're using it, you can kind of tug on it a little bit and it'll help give you a little bit more length. And when you're doing anything like this, you really don't need to use a whole lot of glue. I just put a little bit of a dollop or a little strip of glue every few inches and it holds it just fine. So once you complete it, it's going to look something like this. Again, I wish it went up a little bit more, but once I put the candle in, it was fine. So it took my little wooden creatures. I wish they had a mermaid. They didn't. So I just used this little seashell and I decided to paint it white with my white chalk paint. While that was drying, I took my little blue gems. Now, I would have liked to have used these in a better way, but... It is what it is. I used this for several reasons. One, I wanted it to be a weight on, or in the vase, I should say. And then I also wanted it to have some kind of a layer so I wouldn't have to put in more sand because it would have just been wasteful to do so. So I poured a little bit of the sand in there and slowly slid the candle in. <laughs> Lots of sand smoke comes up, so be careful if you're doing this. And then I just took my twine and I measured it out how long it needed to be. And then I glued my little shell on there. Just to secure it, I did end up adding a little bit more glue just on top of that twine, just to make sure it was extra secured while that was drying so i do a horrible job <laughs> horrible job of showing this but i was trying to pour a little bit more sand on the sides of the candle 
because I wanted the candle to stay there, but I wanted there to still be more sand on the side, as you can see. Um, but it was a challenge and I did do a horrible job at showing it. I should have used paper or a funnel or something like that, but I didn't. I like to make my life harder. So <laughs> yeah, but I did this because I wanted it to look like the candle was a little bit deeper in the sand than what it really was. And then you just attach the twine around the base and there you have this cute little nautical rope candle holder thing. <laughs> Overall, this craft cost me about $5. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below, how did I do? I felt like for the materials that I had and the, the, the pressure and, and, and all the, I, I think it came out okay. What do you guys think? Make sure you go check out everyone else's video. Again, it'll be down in the description below. Again, if you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. All those things help out the channel so much and it's ever so appreciated. Thanks guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video or mermaid video. Peace.